in front of 2,858 fans at Cass Technical High School. Detroit City FC sent everyone home with smiles after beating the Indiana Fire 4-0 on Sunday night. Both teams would exchange a handful of scoring chances in the initial minutes, but none of those were more promising than Jeff Atkins' attempt on goal from inside the penalty area. Here, he makes a move to the left and fires a shot on net that forces Indiana keeper Eric Dick to push the ball over the crossbar into safety. With a little patience and a lot of skill, Adkins would be rewarded for his early chances. Now in the 31st minute, Adkins gathers the ball on the right flank. He slips his way past two defenders to make his way toward goal, where he dribbles around the keeper and buries it to give DCFC the one to nothing edge. That scoreline would stay the same heading into halftime and the early stages of the second half until Adkins decided he wanted to add another goal to his resume. In the 57th minute, Le Rouge presses on the attack and earns a free kick from about 25 yards out. Adkins lines up behind the ball for the attempt and sends a dipping ball over the wall and past Eric Dick to give City the 2-0 lead. What a strike and what a match for Jeff Adkins. He would finally give way for one of his teammates to score in the 69th minute as Oliver Harris sends a ball down the right sideline for Cyrus Sadie. Sadie carries the ball toward the penalty area and fires a shot into the back of the net for his second goal this season against the Fire. And Sean Lawson would place the exclamation mark on the lopsided victory in the 89th minute. He gathers the ball inside the box, takes a couple of steps, and calmly glides a shot into the far side netting to give City the commanding 4-0 lead. With the victory, City picks up three precious points and improves its overall record to a sterling 6-2-1.